All right. So we will just go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Brooke. I'm a program manager for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio Southern Region located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I'm coming to you from my home here in Cincinnati. Um, hi, Caitlin, it's so nice of you to join us. Um, and as I said earlier, if you do celebrate Easter, happy Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, happy Sunday. I hope you all are having a great weekend. Um, and today we are making our pollinator seed bombs. So I have my wildflower seeds here. I have a birds and butterflies mixture. I have my air dry clay and I have a little cup of dirt. So these are the three supplies that we'll need. So um, what's really cool about this activity is it combines a lot of different traditions, um, but then also it beautifies your community. So um, this actually, this activity originated, um, it's been around for a while and um, Another name, I'm calling them seed bombs, but another name for it is earth dumplings. And this comes from ancient Japanese um, for our art of combining sculpture and flowers. So they call it earth dumplings. Today we're calling it pollinator seed bombs. And um, people all over the world have wanted to make their communities um, prettier, more beautiful, cleaner, and um, plants and flowers are a way that you can make your community um, more clean and beautiful. So um, some people came up with the idea to throw these seed bombs or earth dumplings into hard to reach places. So um, this is a form of guerrilla gardening. There's other forms of guerrilla art. Um, one is yard bo yarn bombing. So um, people will go and they'll knit like a telephone pole or a light post or a bike rack and just make it more colorful and beautiful. Um, there's also guerrilla art. So um, posting up surprise art, things like that. Um, this is a really nice form though because it's totally biodegradable. You're not um, doing permanent damage to your community um, and things like that. So um, these are a really fun little activity that you can do at home. And um, it's also a way that people can fight back against wastelands and abandoned lots. So I don't know if in your area or your community, you have areas that um, are kind of abandoned, lots, abandoned wastelands, things like that. Um, especially if these are common in urban areas, um, but by throwing biodegradable little balls of dirt and seeds into the lots, you can help nature kind of take over. So, um, I'm going to use mine and kind of sprinkle them around my neighborhood and some places um, where, you know, I think we could use a little bit more color and um, sunshine. Oh, it looks like Amina has joined in as well. Hello, welcome. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need is a ball of your air dry clay. So I suggest having a ball that's about a golf ball size. Um, so this is the ball that I'm starting out with and I just grabbed it out of my tub. And when you grab it out, it might be like all wonky shaped. So I just kind of roll it in my hands like this to make it a little bit more even. And then um, if you tuned in for the Brownie Potter badge a couple of weeks ago um, with Tori, I believe one of the things that she talked about was pinch pots. And if she didn't, you might have done pinch pots in school. So I take my little ball and I actually just stick my thumb right in the middle. And then I just start, kind of start pinching around the outsides. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. But... I am just creating like a little well in the middle. It doesn't have to look pretty or anything like that. Mine kind of looks wonky on the outside, but I have this nice little bowl on the inside. So once we have that, I am going to take this little bowl and I have my little cup here of dirt. So I'm gonna take a pinch of this dirt and add it straight in to our little bowl. So now I have some dirt in there. 
And then I'm going to open up my wildflower packet. And I wonder if you guys can see it. This one looks really cool. It's all different types of wildflowers. So there's like a bunch of different shapes and things like that in there. So I'm excited to see around my neighborhood after I distribute these, what kinds of flowers and colors there are. These are the ones that are on the package. But yeah, I am excited to see. So um, you just take a little pinch of your wildflower seeds. I have kind of a big pinch because I want to make sure there's some flowers in there and then you're just going to drop it right in the middle. So now we have our little pinch pot bowl and we have our um, dirt in the middle and we also have our wildflower seeds. So then you're just going to take the top and you're going to start to smush it and pinch it together so we can seal it up. So I'm just Kind of looks like a little dumpling right now. An earth dumpling that is probably why the Japanese have named it this way. Because once you start to pinch it together, it does look like a little dumpling. So then I'm just going to roll it back into a nice round shape. And then I'm going to leave this in the windowsill to dry. This is air dry clay. So as you leave it out, it will um, harden over the span of a couple days. Now I made a test earth dumpling on Friday and it took me, or it took two days for it to harden off. So um, I made it on Friday and now it's Sunday and it's totally hard. See, this one is still really squishy. This one's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. They don't all have to be the same size and you can make as many of these as you want to. Um, so this is my hardened one. So what I will do with this now is, um, not right now because I'll lose you guys. Um, my neighborhood doesn't have Wi-Fi all around, so I can't take you all on a walk. But later today, or maybe in a couple days, when I have a couple more earth dumplings, I'm going to go for a walk around my neighborhood. And um, there's just a couple spots in my neighborhood where um, it's not like well maintained it's kind of overgrown so i want those to be kind of places where pollinators and bees and butterflies can go in and they'll have kind of a safe spot um so i'm going to just take my pollinator seed bombs and i'm going to just toss them into the dirt and then let nature take over so what is happening inside of our earth dumplings is we have our um dirt and we have our seeds and when we make the earth bomb, the um, earth dumpling, the seed bomb, whatever you want to refer to it as, the um, clay has some moisture in it. So the soil and the dirt is actually going to wick away that moisture and um, it'll help our seeds start to sprout inside of our seed bombs. So then once we toss it, um, the rain and the natural water will actually kind of break apart this air dry clay. Um, it'll kind of melt away and then um, it'll distribute the dirt and the seeds into the natural environment. So um, then eventually our seeds will start to grow. So I'm just going to make one more just in case um, it was hard to see the first time that I did it and because I want three little earth dumplings or seed bombs to um, take out on my walk. So I have my air dry clay. I'm just kind of scooping out a nice ball size. This looks a little small to me. I'm gonna take just a little bit more. And again, it looks all funny. So I'm just gonna roll it up into a ball. If you've worked with clay in, um, school you might have had to try to get all those air bubbles and things like that out since this is just air dry clay um we don't have to worry about firing it off in a kiln so you don't have to worry about kneading it or anything like that so again i'm just going to stick my thumb right in the middle of it and then i'm going to start to pinch around it's not a very good way for me to show this just like a little pinch pot and again, these are just going in nature so they don't have to look super beautiful. So the sun looks kind of wonky, but I have my little bowl in the middle and I'm going to take a pinch of my dirt. 
and I'm just gonna put it right inside. So I filled it probably three quarters of the way with dirt. And then I have my little seed packet. So I'm just gonna take a little pinch of the seeds and then put it right inside of our seed bomb. And then just smush the top of it. And this is where it starts to look like a dumpling. Why the Japanese called it earth dumplings, but I like to call them seed bombs. And then once it's all pinched together, just kind of roll it together in a nice little bowl shape. So now I have my two little seed bombs that I'm going to let dry. Like I said earlier, I did one on Friday and it took about two days for it to dry. So um, by Tuesday, I'm hoping that these will be ready to go and I can take them on a walk with me. And then I have my third little one that I just made on Friday as an example. It's hard, it's not squishy anymore. So that's what we want before we take them outside. So that is our pollinator seed bombs. Um, like I said, this is kind of a fun activity and has a lot of history to it. You can use it to beautify urban areas, um, suburban areas, rural areas, um, anywhere in your community that you think could use some wildflower seeds. And my favorite part is I got the pollinator seeds so that um, we can hopefully get some more butterflies and maybe even some bees and create a safe little space for them to, um, you know, pollinate. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this activity. Um, as I said earlier, if you celebrate Easter, I hope you're having a great Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you're having a great weekend and a great Sunday. Um, tune in later on today at 2 p.m. Mackenzie will be going live and she will be making um, kindness stones and distributing them in her neighborhood. So again, our focus of today is kind of hopefully putting a smile on people's faces um, in your neighborhood and yourselves. So I'm really excited. I got a couple of stones so I can tune in with Mackenzie and make my own kindness stones. Again, that's at 2 p.m. today. Um, so I hope you'll join us for that. And um, if you're not a Girl Scout and you're enjoying these activities, as always, you can visit girlscouts.org slash join and find out how to get involved in Girl Scouts near you. Um, so I hope you all have a great rest of your day and, um, I will see you later on this week. I am doing one of the Facebook lives this coming week. So, um, we're live at 10 and 2 every day. We hope to see you back, um, either later today or one day this week. Bye friends.